This is Data East's Bump and Jump, the 1983 port of the 1982 arcade game. This title was known as Burnin' Rubber in Japan, and it also had another name in Japan, which was Buggy Bopper. Let's pop it in the old Atari VCS and see how it looks today. So as you can see, Bump and Jump appears to be a racing game, uh, which it is, with one unique feature, and that's your jump button. You're able to jump over obstacles, or enemy cars, or trucks, and actually land on top of them and squish them uh, to gain some extra points. And uh, you do have to actually jump at a, at a certain time uh, to clear a gap in the road over water or some other... Uh, Obscure feature. I guess it's supposed to be water. I just jumped over there. Um, anyhow, yeah, that's the basic premise of the game. So, like most racing games, the at least early racing games, the environment itself is the uh, main obstacle, and you have to navigate the course while avoiding the sides of the track uh, or other cars that can push you into the sides of the track. Um, your enemies include anything that's on the road. And, uh, which is kind of a lot of sh**. There's cars, trucks, little caterpillar things, and, uh, uh, skull skulls and crossbones. I don't know what the hell that's about, but they're on the road and they're trying to get you. Now, because of the size and shape of the screen, and at the speed at which you move across the screen, or at least the, uh, I should say the environment moves past you, um, there's not a lot of time uh, to warn you of an upcoming gap. So there's a little indicator on the top right corner that says OK most of the time, but it will start beeping and flash an exclamation point when, it, when a, uh, a jumpable gap is coming up, like here. And the timing of that is crucial and very difficult to nail down when you first start playing. After a while, you get used to it. And I think it's somewhere between the third and fourth beep. If you hit your jump button, you're OK. Bump and Jump has four basic levels, and they progress uh, like the changes in the seasons, and they're named after the changes in the seasons. The first level is spring, then summer, then fall, and then winter. And uh, the only main difference for most of them is the uh, environment color changes. The Atari 2600 version isn't that true to the uh, actual color scheme of the of the season change, uh, but the last stage, winter, uh, includes a uh, slippery, icy roadway, which does increase the difficulty uh, by the final stage, but the other three stages are identical except for color changes. The object of Bump and Jump is to complete the courses and collect an accumulated amount of points, uh, which is common with early race games. And of course you accumulate points by destroying vehicles and completing the tracks. Bump and Jump isn't really a very notable racing game, at least early racing game, with the one exception of the jump feature and the incorporation of the jump animation, uh, which is scalable graphics. That was kind of a new feature to give you the illusion of um, jumping. So that's the only real noteworthy thing I could say about Bump and Jump. The game is not easy to come by, and could probably command a couple dollars if you're looking for it specifically. Now, is the game worth that extra couple dollars because of its rarity? Well, that's up to you. I'm Dami from Classic Games Revisited. Until next time.